Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Tara Lynn from the Talk with Tara Lynn show, and this is our very first episode. Oh! I'm so excited. We have so much in store for you all, so cue the intro. These by Dallas make it hurt. Talk with Tara Lynn, and I'm your host, Tara Lynn. <laughs> and on this episode, we have music, news, social commentary, and so much more. But since it's your girl's first episode, I needed a little help. And we have somebody so special for y'all today. So we'll be right back. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's the Comedy Goon, and you are now tuned in, tapped in, we Talk With Tyra. If you're not following her ways, you're a whole, whole out here, and your mom ain't raised your right. Looks like my special guest just arrived. Come in. What's happening, baby? What's up? How you doing? Right. So much. Right up my right. What's poppin'? Hey y'all, this is my all-around talented artist, entertainer, comedian, and international funny guy straight out of New Orleans, P-Town Mo. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? What's up? I'm Thank cooling. you so much for being here with us. Yes, yes. Okay, Mo, what you been up to lately? Oh man, everything under the sun. Everything under the sun at home. Yeah, I got these projects coming out, man. I just been uh, heavy back into the music, heavy, heavy, heavy. That's you cool. feel me? I got uh, a project coming out called Bloodline, Father Son shit, with me and my older son. You know what I'm saying? Um, also been working on uh, a, a New Orleans project with a lot of New Orleans artists. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of New Orleans artists. Got that project. I also got a project called, uh, well, that project's called New Orleans Sound. Then I have a project called The Pride, but not on the, the uh, gay pride type of thing. Okay. It's on like a lion pride. Okay. You feel me? So you know how like in a pride, yeah. all the lioness goes out and hunt. And does the hunting. You feel me? And uh, the lion sit back and take care of the family, the cubs. Right, right. So this album, it features only females. So the females are the lioness, you know what I'm saying, to go, because they, they dominate, you know what I'm saying, yeah. in the game. You feel me? So it's featuring oh, like all that. females on it, you know what I'm saying? And I also got uh, two of my younger sons. Yeah, they have an album uh, put together right now. The group name 17. Aww. Your dig is uh, Tiny Moon and Baby Moon. Tiny Moon and Baby Moon? Yeah. Okay. You know, and then I got another project I'm putting together with my 14 uh, year old daughter. And her name Minimo. And Minimo. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's a family affair. Yeah, hell yeah. You, they, they call me Mo Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I hear that. You're going to make some stars, right? Oh, yeah. Got to, man. Got to. Ain't nothing given. You know what I'm saying? We got to go out and get everything and get we it. need. You know what I'm saying? That's so, awesome. That yeah. really is awesome. Okay, this is how this works. Okay. This is my first episode, and I'm going to need your help co-hosting. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, first you gotta help me put my legs down. I'm trying oh, to sit like I'm oh, smooth, though. Ha, ha, ha! I got stuck! Yeah, man. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. What we doing? What we doing? Let's get into it. Okay, you know how everybody always saying that they're the voice of the streets, or they have their ear to the streets? Uh -huh. But I know this one guy, for sure, is street talk. Okay? Uh -huh. You know him? You know him? You gotta be talking about why that love. Oh, you know him. That's Who doesn't know him? Talk. Yes, ah, yes. Where you at, man? Bringing me up, man. Well, let me tell you. He went on the streets uh -huh. and he asked people the craziest oh. questions and got the craziest answers. So he. Yeah, cool. yeah. Right. So guess what? That's cool. We're about to go to it now. You ready? Yeah, man. Turn us up, man. All right, let's do it. All right, look, so we out here with Street Talk. I got a couple questions to ask y'all. What's your name? Mia. And what's your name? Stone. 
All right, I'm gonna ask y'all questions. You can't help her, and you can't help her. Deal? Okay. Y'all gonna be a hundred percent honest, right? Oh uh, yeah. Listen, I'm a street counselor. You can't come with no bullshit. You gotta give a hundred percent honest. I was just thinking All right. Like so who should I ask first? Me. All right. So we are gonna ask you a political question. Why are you pointing? Why? Because she said me. All right. Cool. Agree, all, right yeah. all right. All right. Here's the first question. Right. Of the fifty-two states, how many are Democrat and how many are Republican? All right, so out of 50, we're going to say 30% is Democrat mm -hmm. and 70% is Republican. That's All right, the best what about the other two states? You talking about Hawaii and Alaska? All right, I'm going to ask her. <laughs> of the 52 states, how many is Democrat how many is Republican? I'd say about 15. It's Democrat and the rest is Republican. Now, when you say the rest, what number is that? <laughs> so we roughly doing 50, 50 so 15 so from 35. 52. So 15 from 52, 35. right? 35. So 35. So of the 52 states, 35. about 15 about Democrats, 15 Democrats the rest Republicans. Yeah, because you got California, they big. Right, they're in the middle. Yeah. Right. All right. So you want to give it a go again? All right, I'll go. Democrat is going to be... 32%. We're not doing percent, we're doing no, numbers. That's what you did last I know, time. I tried, numbers. I tried. Okay, um, let's go 16 mm -hmm. okay. or Democrat. Which leaves how many? Oh, God. 30, 30. We just Six. minus 16 from what? 52. All right, get your back down. <laughs> Are you carrying the one? I am. Okay. I crossed out. Uh -uh. 38. I don't know. It's just, like, it's just say 36. So you did good in math. No. <laughs> no my grandfather was a math teacher. Y'all didn't have math. <laughs> <laughs> we we, we, we All right, went so on that one. Let me ask you another question. <laughs> <laughs> another question. <laughs> so this is my next question. We're going to get a little personal. All right? Yeah. I'm going to do this I sent it to you. I'm going to do you at six. Okay. Black ooh, she said, ooh. <laughs> well, not today, nigga. That's just in general. Well, <laughs> I, I had a lot of childhood friends. Yeah. But, you know, I'm married now. You know, okay. we've been together for seven years. So, they were childhood friends. We and never asked. They got some slippers in the wood. Right, so you never yeah. asked. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead. You ready? <laughs> How many dudes you had sex with? Okay. Because <laughs> they're getting chilly. Is it a zero again? Uh, how many women you had sex with? Ooh. Hey, yo. One. One. Okay, I'll say about 30 something. 37. As many states that were Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> as many Republicans. <laughs> so listen, this is a real in-depth question so I'm about to ask you now. And y'all cannot lie. Y'all better keep it a hundred with me. Now we know you only had one, mm -hmm. but I'm still gonna ask you. You go, you on the 37 lips, so I'm gonna wait to ask you yours. You eat ass? No. You don't eat ass. No? You don't like it? I just never had it. You never had to eat that? Yeah. So you just never? I mean, I, I never, you know, there's these guys these days that do say, come over, come over, let's see if you're going to get this alone. We will, we will, we will pass that age. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you eat that? Look, I eat the booty oh, like turkey legs. Oh, she wants the mic. Here you go, here you go. I eat the booty like turkey legs, you feel me? You got to get all in there. Don't get the bone. <laughs> Wow. Real ass eater. So of the 37, how many asses have you eaten? Well, see, my wife is right there, so I can't say ass. She know you didn't fuck 37 people. I said one. So you passed that. One. Huh? One well, just, one just, one her ass. Ass. Just, just her ass. You comfortable with that? No. You're not even comfortable with her eating your ass? I mean, she not. <laughs> she don't eat your ass. Yeah, she do. Wow. <laughs> so listen. I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all. I just got one thing to tell y'all about who who thinks they were right about the states. Oh, fucking right. I'm right. I don't, you think I don't he was it right? I you give you it gonna give it to her? Yeah. Both you motherfuckers was wrong because it's only 50 states. Period. That's the first thing. And both of y'all was counting and, and the numbers was off. But when I when you, you said, wait, 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 wait. What did I say? Wait, wait, wait. What did I say? Let me say this. Remind like, me. When you said about the other two states. Wait, wait. When so I said, said, look, when I said, that's this how y'all argue at home? When I said, look, babe, when I said how many Democratic states there was, I said 15. Right. And then when the rest was, 
I said 35. 35, so that equal 50. So, bitch, I know what I'm talking about. But, but listen, you say the extra two, it just threw me off. Like, I'm two. done with this show. I'm you done with this talk show. <laughs> I'm off. I'm done. <laughs> And you're the first one that did it right. You gotta say we street talking, we street talk. We street talking, we street talk. And they're the first ones to do it right. What's up, man? It's your boy Hot Sizzle, better known as the greatest. And right now I'm rocking with Talk with Tyra Lynn on NETV. Okay, y'all, so that was Street Talk. So we're gonna play a little Tara Lynn Street Talk of our own. Are you ready? Huh? Yes, I'm gonna ask you. Wait, you about to do me where he was just doing them people? Yes! Come on, Mo, you could do that for me. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, okay, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get too deep. Okay. It's crazy. But you crazy too. But, eh. Hey. Women is crazy than men. Ugh. You ready? Ugh. Breathe. Okay, it's not that bad. If your life was a movie, uh -huh. what would be the songs on the soundtrack? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, My see? If life was a movie, what would be the songs on the soundtrack? It's songs that's out? It's whatever expresses okay. Mo's All right. life. All right, song on the soundtrack would be. If my life was a movie, what would be the songs on the soundtrack? Okay. Yes. One will be called Back Up Bitch. Another one will be called Bitch I'm Hungry. Another yeah. one will be called I Ain't Got Time for All This Bullshit Y'all Niggas Be <laughs> That's a good one though. That's a good one. Man, shit. My, my soundtrack, uh, honestly, well, I, I don't know. We're gonna have to dig up Marvin Gaye. Okay. You hear me? So he got, you know what I'm saying? Let it all out. Let yeah, it all out, yeah. And, and, and the Big Luther. And Big Luther, not Little Luther? Not Little Luther. Okay. Big Luther. Big Luther, now you go going serious with Big. With yeah, Big Luther, yeah. Yeah, it gotta be. You heard me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that was a good one. I like I like that answer. That was awesome. Okay, you ready for this one? Yes. If coffee was illegal, what would be its street name? If coffee? What would be its street name? Yeah. Beans. Beans, I like that, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Beans, And uh, if your cup. Period. Okay, you ready for this one? Yes, ma'am. This one's kind of personal. Okay. What's worse? Bubble guts or constipation? Because mm. when a guts bubble, that means you're in trouble. But when you're at the station and it's constipation, mm. constipation. Constipation's the worst? Yeah. Why? Because when it finally get unconstipated, it just come out. No, that shit don't come out. It don't that come shit, out. No, that is like. That do, if it do that. It be doing all that? Then it do like that. And then ah, you can feel like, yeah, the, yeah it you do, right. You know, it it's get, a little yeah. more painful than Ooh. the bubble guts. Cause see the bubbles, you heard me? The boo -boo. Yeah. And I then when, you see, you're like, if I'm right here, you know what I'm saying? Behind your leg. If I had the bubbles, I'm like, girl, look at that rack. And you gonna look. Like on like, Friday, oh, remember? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm gonna let that bitch drop like a fox. Like he's out. Wow. You heard How? me? Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Okay. With that answer, I don't even know how I continue, but I will continue. One more question, okay? okay. I need you to finish the statement. All right. All right? Let me find out. You got rims on a rental. Yes! I got a rental, rental. Yeah, let me find out. Keep that five alive. Yes, love, man. You oh. have to love Pete Mo. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, that was amazing. Thank you. Okay, yeah. so I think our street talk with Tarolyn was a little more hilarious uh -huh. than street talk, or maybe it was. It was. <laughs> I think this is better. I don't know, but it was great street talk. <laughs> but Pete Mo had some answers. No. Okay. Period. <laughs>
So now I have an important question for you, and uh, it's about my favorite topic, fashion. Oh. Yes. Girl. What you thought it was? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna give you no heart attack. I told you, I'm gonna I'm be, I'm be cool. I'm gonna be cool. You're scared, man. I ain't gonna scare you. Okay, baby, let's go with fashion. I know that All you're right. a shoe guy, uh -huh. so you're gonna understand this. How important is your attire to determining your success? It's very important. It's very important? Yes, it's very important. It don't matter what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, funny you ask that, because I just had a uh, talk with, uh, with a videographer yesterday about shooting a uh, video for my kids. Mm -hmm. And once before I told him when we first started dealing, I'm like, I would never, ever, ever hire you to shoot a video for me. Mm -hmm. And he's like, why? What you mean? And I'm like, Cause you have on a small, dirty T-shirt, some basketball shorts, some slippers with one sock on, and I'm not fabricating. It was that bad. Yes. Okay. Mommy, he can tell you, cause he was right there. He was like, "You, you told that dude that?" I'm like, man, you know I'm a straight up person. Right. You feel me? And right. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But when you when you go out to to handle whatever type of business you handle, yeah. You feel me? You have to dress a card. It's important to look. Your part. Oh, Look, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I would agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. Because you dress for success. That's what I was always taught. Always exactly. be ready to do whatever it is that comes your way. So, exactly. awesome. Hey, everyone. This is the Tara Lynn Fashion Challenge. We're challenging all of the self proclaimed best dressed man or woman to compete for a Saks gift card. So, we're calling all you best dressed fashion easters and fashion men to come get this money, but there's a twist. Y'all ready for it? Number one, you have to follow me. Talk with Tara Lynn on Instagram. Follow Tara, that's the first thing. Number two, you have to go to your local consignment store or thrift store, and you can only spend $63 or less. Number three, you have to record the entire process. I mean, I want to see the tags, I want to see the receipts, I want to see you go down the aisle. I want to see the whole process. Number four, I need you to slide in my DMs with a picture and the video of the final look. My team will select three finalists. We're gonna post you and tag you and let the people decide who did the best. So y'all get to shopping because I want to see what you got. Well, Mo, as you probably didn't know, this is our last segment. But I don't need you to go nowhere yet. I don't, you ain't gonna want to go nowhere yet. You know why? I don't got nowhere to go yet. You ain't got nowhere to go, so you chilling with me today? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, well, what's going on? I had this amazing sit down with Styles P, the ghost. Is it the ghost? The ghost, the ghost? Right, it's the ghost, right? Because I had it confused with the goat. Hey. Styles P from the lot? Yes, yes, oh. he's the goat. And he the goat. And he the goat, that's what I was saying. Okay. Indeed, you're a street goat, yes, Lord. It was amazing to sit down. Man. He gave me insight a little bit about DMX, his marriage. Wow. It was awesome. Wow. Yeah, so you ready to watch it? I wish I could have watched it in 3D. Well, next time I, I'll call you, you know, when my partner, you know, because that's my partner, Styles P, he's a goat, and you know, next time. I'm a holler at you. I'm sorry, but I want you to look at this sit down. This interview was amazing. I'm telling you. You lucky he the goat. Period. As the goat. As the goat. South P the ghost. Y'all ready? Put it on. Let me All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Today we have hip hop icon, one third member of the legendary group The Locks. Mr. Styles P, the ghost himself. What up, what up, what up? Bring it in. Yes, wow. talking to Tara Lynn on NETV. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for no being doubt. here today. Thanks for having me. This is awesome. No doubt. Legendary. Legendary Tara. Glad to be here doing the interview. Thank you. So what's your roots in New Orleans? Um, I love it here. He loves it here. I How could you here. not love, love New Orleans? Yeah, I love the people. I love the vibe. It's just, um. For me, it's a very soulful place. Yeah. Like anytime you can get soul and just get in the city and get soul from pretty much anybody you bump into, yeah. um, it's pretty cool. Like you know what I mean? Um, 
Well, you got Musa, good vibes. Musa, my family. Musa. Like, Musa go back from Jet Rock Life. Days, yeah. Spitter, you know what I mean? Um, he knows just everybody. Just the people in, in general, man. I just love coming here and, um, you know, it's the shit. It's the shit? Yeah. I love it. I love it. And I know New Orleans loves you. How yeah. could we not love I Styles appreciate Pete? that love. I yeah. That. Yeah. I mean, it's solid. It's real. It it's is. real. So we saw you on Marriage Boot Camp with your beautiful wife, yeah. who is not only beautiful, but also strong. Yeah, yes, and yes. I don't know if you realize how many married couples that you helped well, during glad to, that. Glad to play our part. Well, do you have any advice for married couples or relationships? Um, just be, be honest as possible with yourselves, yeah. um, with the communication. Try to keep it up, um, be friends first. Understand that y'all each individuals, mm -hmm. but together y'all are union. But you gotta respect individuality, yeah. and you know, and you gotta respect differences too. Like you know what I mean. Yeah. Sometimes it's a you, you are compatible in a lot of places, and in some places you're not compatible at all. So you have to know how to kind of balance it out. And um, That's for me as a man, it's more of just I guess I gotta learn how to. It's always a learning process, as long as you just got to keep reminding yourself that it's, you're always going to learn and keep growing. Because the truth of the reality is, if you're in a long-term relationship, mm -hmm. as an individual, you and your significant other grow as individuals every few years. You just grow right. yourself as a person. So right. you have to understand that relationship you had five years ago may not be the mm -hmm. same one today, just mm -hmm. due to growth. So, you know... Marriage is trials and tribulations, peaks and valleys, ups and downs. And I think people think it's supposed to be like all all good. The, the point is you want to be with somebody that's, if there are bad times, are they worth being with the bad times? Right. And that's what it's really about at the end of the day. So, um, my mom always say love ain't just a, a happy thing. Love mm -hmm. comes with a lot of uh, love Call comes work. with pain, pain, tears, tears. crying. You know, love comes with a lot of things, so yeah. that's all part of love. And that's so, marriage. Like, yeah, that's marriage. Go through it all. Through but it that, all. that's that's the best advice you can Do give anybody. That's yeah. awesome. You got to just keep pushing forward, too. You got to keep pushing You got the forward. right one, you got to keep pushing forward. When you have the right one. Yeah. That says a lot. Yeah. Finding that right one. Mm -hmm. And I think you found the right one. Y'all look yeah. awesome yes. together. We just opened the fifth juice bar. That's awesome. Yeah, in um, New York, we're working on um, opening a pharmacy hub, actually, in New York. Big I have things. a solo album coming out. Oh, sure. I have a collab project with um, Dave East. Yes. And hopefully when I'm down here, I get to work with my brothers, because I forgot my other New Orleans brother. You asked me about my family. Fiend's my family. Oh, that's, that's my, yes. That's my Legendary. Bro, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and... And just even from being on on tour with um Cash Money, yeah, or Friday Cash Money tour, so I'm used yeah. to, you know, it was a beautiful thing. So it was kind of like on a on that tour, it was kind of the merge of two cities. You get to be with some a group of people from a whole nother city, and we you know break bread, eat, yeah. chill, smoke, and Collab. just pick up each other's culture and vibes. So what did you pick up from them? I'm soulful, like I said. So, the but that, that you can tell your spirit is The story's, the, story's is the same, but it's just different places. Like okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, it's different food, different buildings. Yeah. And but it's the same story. It's the same it's story. The same, yeah. The root of it is a very soulful place, and um, you know, I feel like down here has a certain amount of grit and savviness. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, it's like the the New Yorker down here for me. It's just okay. The, the soul of everybody. And I feel vice versa with New York. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I'm glad that we have you down here as much I'm as we do. Glad this to be is here. like, All the time. yeah, big deal. All the time. Yeah, I gotta get a crib here one of these days. Come, we would yeah, love you, down here. We ain't gonna bother you. Day. We're just gonna love I'm, on you a little bit. I'll be out. I'll be outside when I'm here. Okay. I'm okay. So I'll you don't be, mind when they run up to you? It doesn't make mix. you feel uncomfortable. I'll be in the mix, nah. Okay. I, I can either blend in or get out when I need to, or just chill. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty comfortable. Do you have a favorite food down here? Um, I had a, something, I forgot the name of the place they just told me. Um, this is an African Ethiopian place. I don't Ooh. think it's a vegan place, but I think I had some vegan food in there that was super dope. I was actually looking for it on Twitter today. Okay. I forgot what they told me the name. It started with an A. Um, this, uh, We're going to have to uh, find that for you. Ethiopian food. Yeah, it, it, that was pretty dope. And today I had, um, my healthy, damn, my health... 
I had some vegan crab cakes, they was banging. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, they was banging. It was made out of like artichoke chickpeas. Um, then I had the vegan, I had the grits with the vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's next for Styles P? Always work, always work. Always More work. Music. Keep pushing the health movement as much as we can possible. Informing our people on that, um, you know, a lot of people think health is like for, for like a nerdy shit, a geeky shit, some mm -hmm. new wave, but for us, we try to explain to us, especially since we come from poor communities and we, most poor black people don't get enough health insurance, we don't go to the doctor enough, right. then we live in places where it's just liquor store, fast food, and all kind of fucked up shit. So basically, we're just trying to inform people that staying healthy is kind of more than new. It's, it's really an act of survival. So it's really the G shit to do. So we're just trying right. to reprogram our people to understand because the most ghettoest thing in the world is survival. That's the main thing when you come from the ghetto, survive. Yeah. So eating clean, I ain't saying run out, be a vegan. I ain't saying run out, be a health nut, but just start putting some life in your body, balance right. shit out. Like if you got high blood, blood, pressure, blood pressure, diabetes, gout, Sugar, Anything. yada yada yeah. yada. You gotta understand it come from what you put in your body. Yeah, how you live and how like you, you eat. You know what I mean? So we just try to program our people to just think a little more in the long term because the easiest way to knock us off would be through food, water, mis mis miseducation. Right. It's the easiest way to knock black and brown people off. So we just try to keep that in mind and say, especially we in we have very turbulent times right yeah. now. So yeah, definitely. You gotta kind of just pandemic you want to keep your immune system up on your own as much as possible like, right right you know I mean? right as much as possible you want to do things to self-preserve and prevent any issues yeah any health yeah, issues right did your wife introduce you to juicing yeah pretty yes. much not juicing but eating clean oh that's awesome eating clean, okay she wants much. to keep you here yeah, as long she, as she, possible she introduced me to eating clean it's like a it's, it's kind of a combination story all in one um she was introducing me to eating clean because um, I came up eating clean, of course, but when you start getting money and you move out your house, yeah. you're not living with mom no more and running about and, and hip hop living kind of fast on the road. I would eat nasty on the road, so when I got home, my wife made sure I ate good. And she was like, no, you gotta really start eating good all the time, taking care of yourself. That's that and at the time I was getting in a, um, a lot of trouble. Okay. So I was, I was kind of understanding I was too smart, but something was, making my temper just right you know and i wanted to get control of that and then at the same time i was making money and i didn't live in the ghetto no more so then okay. i seen the difference of how people who didn't live in the ghetto live towards how we live the you know the different yeah the healthy they had much more healthier options, options than we, than did, we so do yeah it kind of was an old combustion thing and i just it just got me on the journey that's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. She kept you around. Mm -hmm. She's going to feed you healthy so yep. you're living long, Gotta, keep you here as long, as, long as she as can. Possible. Yes, I love as it. I love it. So are there any artists that have your ear, have your eye that you know is like going to be the next big thing or anybody that you it's feel is... For me to say. I wish the best of all young artists because the, the simple fact of the matter is um, if a bunch of young people from the ghetto get to make a lot of money, and then bring other people with them and yeah. employ other people. I root for them more. Um, whether they make it big or not, it's enough. It's the industry's open enough now for them to do their thing and still make um, a significant amount of money and on their own. Exactly, New Orleans own. Yeah. Permacy is the perfect example of what you should, what an independent artist should mm -hmm. kind of strive to be. Yeah. Own yourself, like own the your shit game. you do. You don't have to kiss mm -hmm. ass. You don't have to work for nobody. You don't have to bend, make your own following. So right. there's different ways to go about it in the industry, depending on what you want or how you want. I just tell all artists who's trying to make it, God bless, do your thing, because I want them all to make it. You, you know have I mean? any advice? Like, you know, I know there's a lot of people that's probably. Pray and read. Pray and read. Pray and read. Pray. Pray. One, don't forget to pray. That's that's very important. That's where the faith comes um, in. Yeah, read so you have your information. You know what's going on, and um, keep striving forward. Keep striving forward. Keep pushing forward. Know that. Um, look at information like it's also money. Yeah. Information is currency if you not right. use it in the correct way. So, right. You know, just and, and try to build, and especially to all young artists, if you come in in this game, 
don't just depend on a music check. Plan on getting some order, some other kind of check from somewhere else. Okay. Some other lane. Like, you should already have a backup job, occupation in your mind, or some sort of independent business that you could make money off of, and your family or your homies or something you could pass down. Right. You always, you know, look at look at everybody who's very successful in a game, and then ask yourself how many things do they do? Right. Right. Let's look at you know the multi-millionaires, the billionaires, the legends. The legends. Let's let's say how many occupations do these guys have? Or right. Is it one thing. So right. Try to you know tell that to the youth early while they get in, so they can have their. So they can have their mind set on like yeah. what to do and how to do it right. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So in life, I know you've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Is there any time that you had a test that turned into a testimony? whole life is a testimony you know, to a testimony mm -hmm. um i think for the average for the average black person man or, or male Whoa. or female it's a test. I, don't, I don't know if that's the right terminology nowadays you're good man or woman mm -hmm. um every day is a test yeah life just in general like whether you're an artist or not because we're all talented in yeah. our own way mm -hmm. in some special way and um life has a way of throwing a lot of shit at you. Yeah. And if you're waking up every day and finding a way to smile, keep pushing it forward, work, you are the test that's the testimony. So okay. I think we all have that. Um, my life is full of them. You know, I've, I've, I've lost family members. I've lost a daughter. I've lost a father. I've lost a brother. I've lost too many close homies. I've lost recently ex, yeah. Black Rob. Um, too many, too many, too much loss to name. So kind of look at the loss and understand that the heavenly father's in control of it all yeah this is our physical body mm -hmm. you know what i mean the spiritual is more powerful than that yeah and um we will see them all on the other side again and just keep moving and keep pushing forward so just loss alone trials and tribulation pain yeah being black Life. with ptsd yeah and yeah everyone any anyone watching right now you all the test that's you know turns to the You're testimony right. so we all have that story okay you're right. You're absolutely right. Life you know, is a test. You know, yes Do you is. have any good stories about DMX that you haven't told anybody? They're too dirty to tell. You can tell Not me. Good ones. No, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. No, X, the, uh, the beautiful, most beautiful thing I would say about X is he was who he said he was. Okay. Like, that wasn't just for the camera. Like, a lot of people just think DMX dog hit the music, but literally... You could be just you and X talking. He's gonna bark in that conversation. He's gonna growl. That's him. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna say the hardest shit you may have ever heard in your life, lyrically. But he's also gonna talk about God. He loves his people. And um, on top of that, I say for me, he was the story. What makes him one of the most special human beings in my eyes is was his ability to, first of all, make it, then achieve that amount of success and being able to go through pain. Like, you know what I mean? And, yeah. And, and still balancing it all and taking care of his own. Of course, he had his downs. Yeah. Of course, he had his ups, but, you know, I'm from South Side of Yonkers, New York. If you've seen a place, you've been there, you can get a feel because you're from here. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's, it's it's the same thing when, when you can't imagine making it. Mm -hmm. Like before we made it, no one made it from our town rapping. Okay. Um, my sister Mary, she made it doing R&B. Okay. But there was no rappers. There wasn't even the word Yonkers. Like the New York DJs, they name all the boroughs, every place, but they didn't name Yonkers. So that was our dream to make it. And not only did he make it, mm -hmm. he made it to the top of the mountain. To right. The mountain top and he, he did the damn thing. And the world felt good. Yeah. So you know that that for me that mean a lot. Yeah. South side, Yonkers, Yonkers, New York, just period all day. And he rep he rep for Yonkers, the town, New York, and the world, and just for anybody that was going through the struggle. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't limited. His his energy was big enough to hear if he knew, like he said, if you knew he knew you knew the story, mm -hmm. you his dog. He fucked with you and he felt with you. Yeah. And he was gonna ride with you. That's what dogs do. And you can tell you that's you're I mean? the same yeah. type of person. Yeah, dogs. That'd be dogs, man. That'd be dogs. That's my guy, man. X forever. Yes, I love mm -hmm. it. Thank you so much. And Black Rob too. I gotta give my other brother Black Rob. 
you know, his kudos and his flowers too, because we lost him the week right after. Right. He was a very, very humble, incredible, you know, beautiful MC and soul and individual. And see, we are on the other side too. Okay. New Orleans, I love y'all. Always. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Love, sis. Styles P, the legendary. Boom. So we made it, y'all. This is the end of my very first episode. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, seriously, Mo, thank you so much you for, for doing this with me. I really appreciate it. I needed you. You were solid. You came through. Came through yes, like a thanks, champ. Yes, yes, yes. Thank, yes. Thank, yes. You. thank you so much. Okay, y'all. I have something special. Singer, actor, rapper. There's nothing this man can't do. And guess what? He even produces my show. We have the one and only Bo D. And guess what? We got that exclusive. Yes! Where he at? Let's do it, y'all. Came in this world by my damn self, so I'ma die alone. Meanwhile, I'm switching time zones for the way I'm living in a Sodomon. It's a cold world in these wicked streets, I turn the fire on. Burning rubber till I get tired like a fire stone. And I'm half baked off the vibe alone. In these low times, you get intoxicated and you hide alone. Don't feel right, but you hide the wrong. Phone calls getting screened lately. Ain't even going on the scene lately. My name buzzing, my rep growing. My flow sick, I'm the best going. I'm still new, but my time coming. Opportunity knock, I won't run from it. My cup full of the Lord's blessings. Try to smile through it, but I'm still stressing. Only human, I can feel pressure. And I'm obligated to fulfill pleasure. I'm in my zone to write the realest songs, but I don't know if I feel better. But I'm optimistic, my cup running, cause my shit together. I don't need no more friends. Your love is here for now, but it's gon' end. Cause things begin to switch up when you win. Your enemies gon' try to make amends. So it stands. I don't need no more friends. Your love is here for now, but it's gon' end. Cause things begin to switch up when you win Your enemies gon' try to make a mess So it stays, don't need no more With a lot of trying, you can meet your failure at the dead ends Sacrificing all the peace you had for a pot of gold and some dead friends You were hot it all like the money call, it's the scale balance you weighing in Did it all for the bread ends, not a whole load but when the bread ends Do you even have another shoulder you can maybe lean on? Picture different like the scene wrong You pissed off cause you feel like you got peed on These lonely roads I'm knee deep on With a honey blanket's like I'm really something you should sleep on Keep the heat on and I keep on and I keep on I don't need no yeah. more friends Your love is here for now but it's gon' end Cause things begin to switch up when you win Your enemies gon' try to make a mess So it stays I don't need no more friends your love is it for now, but it's gon' end Cause things begin to switch up when you win Your enemies gon' try to make a mess So it stays Don't Baby, tell no me when we rollin' Baby, tell me when we rollin' They know what we do when we show up Everybody know they know us All we gotta do is roll up Tell me when we rollin' Baby, tell me when we rollin' They know what we do when we show up Everybody know they know us All we gotta do is roll up Until next time, baby! <laughs>